take a look at a bunch of different art making techniques that can be done on paper or any flat surface. So paper or, or canvas. We typically start the semester with line and line work with one point perspective. And then we end the semester with a little bit of color theory and or value. So on the screen here, you can see two examples of one point perspective projects. Down here, we have a self portrait that would typically be at the end of the semester where we study color schemes and such. We're going to use many different materials in Intro to 2D Art. You can expect to use some of the following like colored pencils and paint, Sharpie, charcoals. You don't have to worry about getting any of this stuff or running out and buying these. Your art teachers already have these for you. They will give you everything you need to complete each project in class. There are currently two teachers that teach Intro to 2D Art, Mrs. Moneymakers on the left and me, Mrs. Gentner, I am on the right. If you have any questions about the course while you're trying to plan your semester out, please send either one of us a Schoology message. Just type our last name into that recipient box on Schoology, ask your question. We are happy to get back with you and happy to answer any questions that you may have about Intro to 2D Art. Taking Intro to 2D Art at the high school definitely opens up your course selection for other visual arts classes at the high school. So you can see following the flow chart here, the introduction to 2D Art is a prerequisite for drawing one, and drawing one is a prerequisite for painting or drawing. So if you want to take either one of those classes in high school sometime, it all starts with Intro to 2D Art. If your end goal, it's covered up down here, but if your end goal is AP Studio Art, you must take intro to 2D art first.